Come to me, all you who labor and are burdened, and I will give you rest. Hallelujah. We come here, all of us, every single one of us, wearied and burdened in all kinds of ways. Come to me, all who labor and are heavy burdened. You might marvel that Jesus, in whose arms and hands and lap we drop everything this morning, marvel that Jesus is able to handle it all, to hold it all. But he does just that. And I shall give you rest. That's the comfort and the consolation we desire. Take up my yoke and learn from me. As is often the case with Jesus, the challenge comes embedded in the comfort. For I am meek and humble of heart. As Jesus reaches out his arms and invites us, come to me, all you who labor and are burdened, and I'll give you rest. So are we called to reach out our arms to others? Yes, my yoke is easy. Our first response in these days might be, come, come to me, but keep social distance. Well, social distancing is a reality and it should be observed carefully and faithfully. And my burden is light. But there are other distances that we need to pay attention to. I'm thinking here of political distance that keeps us away from those who are knocking at our door. I'm thinking of ideological distance. I'm thinking of economic distance. I'm thinking of bigoted, racist distance. I'm thinking of the distance of pride and privilege that blinds us from seeing the plain truth, the shocking reality, the crying shame of our inexcusable failure to follow the humble heart of Jesus and welcome all as he does. And you'll find rest for your souls. With the comfort always comes the challenge. And always with the challenge comes the consolation. The consolation of being faithful to the one into whose hands and arms and lap we drop all our sorrows, hurts, burdens, and yearnings to breathe freely and to live. Take up my yoke and learn from me, for I am meek and humble of heart, and you'll find rest for your Yes, my yoke.